Christmas on the Alpaca Farm is a really enjoyable film. This was released this year, 2023. It's directed by Michael Kennedy, written by Michael Moosey and Madison Walsh. And this stars Kirsten Carford as our protagonist, Jess. And we also have Matt Wells as our potential love interest. And A. Barrett as Georgia. And I apologise if I'm mispronouncing that. And Jess decides on the spur of the moment to quit her job and follow her dream of having her own business where she creates luxury, sustainable fashion. Definitely an admirable pursuit. And she teams up with an alpaca farmer who is quite reluctant, Andrew, or potential love interest. But he realises that in order to save his farm and continue living there with his daughter, he needs to do something. So he ends up agreeing. And the film is all about them working together creating this line of luxury clothing out of alpaca fleece and with the hope that Jess will win this competition and have her her brand launched and, and, and make a name for herself. And I have to say the process is really interesting. I don't know exactly how accurate this is in terms of the process from taking alpaca fleece and transforming it into a, a wearable garment, but I'm taking it with a pinch of salt and assuming that it's pretty accurate feel free to provide information if it's not correct but i enjoyed it i enjoyed the creative process i enjoyed seeing the pieces coming together it was really interesting the setting is really nice as well the farm environment is really lovely and really welcoming it definitely feels very cozy even when andrew was being kind of standoffish and not wanting to welcome jessica into his life there was still this warm inviting feel about the film and i really enjoyed that part of it it's quite Christmassy as well. It's maybe not the most Christmassy film, but there's enough Christmas in it to be called a Christmas film. And as I said, it's got that warm, fuzzy, welcoming feeling to it anyway, which definitely helps to add to the, the festive vibes. It's not completely predictable, but it's predictable enough that it feels safe. There are no unpleasant surprises. I do think one of the characters overreacted on one occasion. I won't say which character or what occasion. You'll probably know which bit I mean but other than that I believed everybody's actions their motivations I really bought into the developing romance in it and, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it it's a very easy watch by which I mean it's free from any real issues and it's very comforting and as I said it's enjoyable to watch at least I found the process of creating these garments and Obviously, anything that supports sustainability, supporting local businesses, that's obviously a really great message, but I don't think it's preaching. I don't think it's saying, well, if you buy into fast fashion, you're a terrible person. I don't feel like anybody would feel like it's being preachy. I feel like it's a very balanced message of just saying, hey, this is this person's dream and they're doing a great thing. And maybe you can consider supporting local businesses and buying more sustainably. And if even one person changes their purchasing habits as a result of this film, I think that's pretty great. So a lovely message, a lovely narrative, very likable characters. Most of the characters' actions were agreeable, hardly any uh, displays of overreacting or anything, which is something I've mentioned before, I think can make or break part of a narrative. If one of the characters flies off of the handle completely unnecessarily, it can ruin it. It's not quite to that extreme here, but there was just one moment. In fact, I will in a moment explain which bit it is, just in case you don't feel the same way. But I really enjoyed it. Christmas uh, on the Alpaca Farm is a really fun, heartwarming, inspirational film and definitely worth checking out. So very briefly, but this is a spoiler, the only time where I didn't agree with the character's actions is when Jess told Andrew that she'd won the competition but with the caveat that they were going to have to blend her uh, the alpaca fleece with something that's also you know cheaper to produce. And Andrew said, you lied. But she didn't lie. She didn't foresee that. She did not lie. And I can understand why he felt that way, but he shouldn't have blamed her. It wasn't her fault. And I didn't agree with him on that occasion. But everything else, absolutely loved it. Christmas on the Alpaca Farm has a great message, a lovely story, very likeable characters, definitely worth checking out.